Dr. G, Dr. G, yes, coming at you today with some breaking, uh, some breaking news. There's a new RPG Slayer show going on, RPG Slayer TV show going on, and that show is this show. Welcome to Disgusting Internet Trends. Now, you may be wondering, well, what's this? What are you wearing? Well, this, this show right here is, this show right here is a masterpiece uh, by a licensed, the licensed scientist I am, if you will give me just one sec. Really cool, really cool internet show. Uh, because we talk about the cancer's trends coming from the internet that have A, spread into obscene popularity, or B, spread into real life, essentially. Uh, of course I am the, uh, all, all superior expert on this topic. Um, as you can see, I got glasses, I wear a dress shirt and a tie, along with that I got this great certification, uh, yeah, I'm heavily qualified to do this series. Alright, so, today, we're going to be taking a look at the cancer that is spread throughout the internet, known only as Fidget. Actually, it's known as a lot of things, but I'm going to call it fidget because I don't have a better thing to call it. So, what exactly is this cancer spawn of the internet? Well, it is exactly that, first off. A, a cancer spawn. But, more specifically, it is the idea that... Oh, shoot. The idea that... Good God, this thing just does not want to stay. The idea that having ADHD is good? Now, if any of my fans or, or any of, any viewers out there uh, have ADHD, I'm not bashing on you. I'm bashing on ADHD in general. If you have ADHD, that's, that's quite all right. If you have a... Uh, Tourette's, because this might help pe some people with Tourette's if it's very minor as well. If you have Tourette's, it's okay. No, it's not okay, but you're okay, maybe. But the thing is, is that they're advocating. Essentially saying, hey, let's let everyone seem like they have ADHD. So, let's just look at... I'm doing a Google search for Fidget Cube. And what do we get? We get all these disgusting websites, thefidgetcube.co, antsylabs.com, huh, this, this is just, the fidget cube. You see here, we have uh, a few things, we have uh, uh, from left to right, you know, we've got this bare looking surface, uh, we have a metal ball with dials that I believe switch back and forth kind of like that um, going all off of the way I've seen them in real life we have five buttons like a die you know, a dice uh, we have this little joy joystick knob well, I gotta have a controller in here. it's essentially one of these things you know your, your analog stick then you've got this dial that you just turn constantly and you got a switch. Well, that's just the end all be all, isn't it? The most amazing thing created in the last 20 years. And I'm sorry, how much are these things selling for? Well, they tend to sell pretty cheaply. Like, there's a fidget cube uh, for a dollar on which. It's a lot of them, actually. $10, $9. So, but there's something else. Something that, this was okay, it's cool, it's a little thing you'll fidget around with. But then something else came out. The fidget spinner. Now this thing is just terrible. This is a device. Uh, here we have Tom's Fidgets. I'm sorry. Zekpro, who advertises it as the anti-anxiety 360 spinner. Helps focusing fidget toy. 3D 
figget. I'm, I'm sorry, you see that? 3D figget. Premium quality EDC focus toy for kids and adults. Best stress reliever. Relieves ADHD, anxiety, and boredom. Ceramic cube bearing. Once again, 3D figget. You know, this might be a premium pr quality product, which I dialed in the first place. But he sure doesn't have 3D quality spelling. But it gets worse. You see a few of these for like five, six dollars. That's already way too much. But how much is this thing selling for? The Zek Pro Fidget Fidget Spinner costs eighteen dollars, seventeen ninety nine. Free shipping on eligible orders from Amazon. Except if you don't have Amazon Prime, you have to pay for shipping too. And then there's another brand right under it that you see. The Giggle Hands and the R Horse. What the heck? So, these things are like flooding. Flooding. I've seen a ton of them uh, in, in schools. I mean, I'm amazed no one's gotten them taken up. But it would be unfortunate because they're $18. What is wrong with people that they saw these things on the internet that they think is going to help them with their ADHD? Which, yes... Uh, the one per the I've seen two people, three people with these types of things. And I'm pretty sure two of those three people have ADHD, and the other person didn't even buy the spinner. They just bought the fidget cube just because they thought it was cool. I mean, they might have ADHD. I don't know. I don't think they do. What's the point in this? It's just disgusting. It's worthless. Someone saw this thing on Instagram and thought this is the most amazing thing ever. Actually, there's a Kickstarter for it. Wow, let's let's take a look at this. Fidget Cube, a vinyl desk toy by Matthew and Mark McLaughlin. This is the end, guys. This is the freaking end of humanity. An unusually addicting, high-quality desk toy designed to help you focus. Fidget at work, in class, and at home in style. Okay, so here's here's what I gotta say. When you when you're fidgeting around, you're not really focused. This device is designed to improve focus. By you fidgeting at work, in class, and at home. And apparently it does it in style. Well, I don't see how that works. And let's see, 150, 155,000 people backed this thing and gave this company for probably a device that in China would cost 75 cents to make. This cost, uh, I'm sorry, through the Kickstarter project, to get the device cost fourteen dollars. That's still too much. But how much did they pledge? Six million four hundred sixty-five thousand five hundred ninety freaking dollars. And for a fourteen-dollar device, that means that essentially forty four hundred sixty-one thousand eight hundred thirty-five people bought one of these things before it got into pre-order or order stage, which it's in now, and people are buying them still. What's the point? It's a cool concept, but it shouldn't go anywhere. You're fidgeting around. The goal is to help you stop fidgeting. That's the point. That's one of the downsides of ADHD. You fidget around all the time, messing, messing, with, messing with your hands. What does this do? Encourage your fidgeting. Encourages you to embrace the effects of the ADHD. Was this good? No! It needs to stop. It's time to stop. Please. No more fidget cubes. No more cancerous devices out on the internet today that get spurred into real life and invade our schools, invade our workplaces, invade our houses. I'm sure someone will have one eventually in my house. It's bloody freaking disgusting. Please, if you have a brain inside your head, don't buy one of these. Please. If you already have, please don't bring it. Just screw around at home. My name is Dr. G, signing off. I will see you the next time I nearly have a heart attack on camera. Have a beautiful day. What's up, guys? My name is RPG Slayer here today. Thank you so much for watching the first episode of Disgusting Internet Trends. Actually, make sure to leave a comment talking about what you liked about the video and what you think I could do better. Like and subscribe for more. Daily uploads. My name is RPG Slayer, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Peace.